So I have the Garmin 4Runner 255 and I'll be showing you how to take your blood oxygen uh, levels or how to how to measure your blood oxygen levels with this watch. Now, the first thing you want to do is simply go to your glances by pressing the scroll down or scroll up button. Simply go to one of those buttons and then scroll through your glances until you get to the uh, pulse oxygen glance, this one right here. Now, in case you don't find this particular glance in your list of glances, then I have another video on how to add glances to your watch. Uh, you can go ahead and watch that video. I'll link it down below. But the most important thing here is this uh, pulse oxygen glance. So select it and you can see my previous reading. If you want to take a reading right now, then simply press that and then select take reading and then hold still and allow the watch to do its thing. Make sure you, you sit still. It's currently measuring. And the watch uh, is very snug on my wrist. There you go. So there's our reading, 96%. And that's a good, fairly good uh, blood oxygen level. Now, if you press here, you can go down into settings. And then you can choose how the watch, automatic, uh, how the watch takes your blood oxygen readings. Now, currently it's set on on demand, which basically means it will never take a blood oxygen reading unless I demand like I just did. Now, if you want it to take automatically during your sleep, you can go up and select during sleep or you can go to all day and your watch will be taking regular blood oxygen checks all day long. So I think the best option for me is all day because I really want to check uh, my blood oxygen levels all the time. If you prefer to check only during sleep when your body is still and you're sleeping, that's the best time to, to, to check your blood oxygen levels unless you want it all day. Of course, all day comes at the detriment of um, battery life, okay? That's basically how to check your blood oxygen levels with your Garmin 4Runner 255. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.